Today's game is being played in Newsom Stadium, home of the Nashville Lycans. A lot of great music clubs in Nashville, Bricks. Yeah, I went to a country star Darth Crooks' place last night. It was like half dead. It was only 9 o'clock. It's a zombie joint, you idiot. Of course it was half dead. This game is going to be a wholesale slaughter. No discounts in the MFL. The team stormed the field. The Cincinnati Bengals take on the Nashville Lycans. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. It's time to turn on, tune in, and get your mutant buzz on. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here. It's MFL game day, and you know what that means. Yeah, the town will be in flames tonight, and half the city's population will be sliding down greased street poles and eating all-you-can-eat horseshit buffets from the curb. Yes, victory can be bittersweet sometimes, Bricks. Let's see if the home team can light up this town like a Roman candle. up eight yards on that pass. Second down and two. It's two yard run before he stopped. And that'll bring up third down and in inches. Man, this coach must have played too many video games. You got to punt it here. Come on. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. Unless, of course, you kill him. Oh, look at that freak guy. Bam, say goodnight to that. Bricks. Uh, good night to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. And it's first and ten. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and 10. Oh, man, the offense called a murder ball. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch. And he runs out of gas and got tackled short of the goal line. Hell of a run, though. So a lot of guys, Graham. Uh, at least that's what I hear. First down to three. It looks like the defense had the... And that's just a great run for a touchdown. And viewers at home, don't worry, he doesn't have fleas. He's just not a very good dancer. I am fleas, and I can't dance that good. I would uh, think you to stay on the other side of the booth, Bricks. <laughs> and here comes the extra point attempt. It's good. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And it's first and ten. Second 
broken down in more than the QG would like. Holy crap, he runs straight into a mutant trap and dies. Reminds me of my breakfast cereal, the old nut crunch. Third down and, well, good luck. And he sticks his fingers in the de Oh, mama, just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a re He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Oh, with a punishing hit. In your pants, <laughs> And it's first and ten. And the defense goes for the jug. If he was still talking, he'd probably be saying, Psycho killer, Keska say, what the fuck, the fuck, the fuck? And it's first and ten. It's a mare in Lost Wages, Nevada. And it's first and ten. The receiver makes a grab for five yards. Second down and five. Running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Interception. And that's it. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? Does anyone have a rule book? Because that sounds like he's making stuff up. Uh, do we have a rule book? It's propping up your chair so you can reach the table without spilling your food, idiot. And it's first and goal. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. down and six. A pickup of about three on that play. And that'll be second down and four. Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. And he misses that extra point. Oh, well, look at clown shoes down there. Is he wearing actual clown shoes? I think so. It's probably why he missed. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot nine. 
second down and a lot. He might have managed to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Got too much buried in, you know, the usual money, bodies, coffee cans filled with, well, uh, you know, mostly coffee. Tastes better, like Eskimos burying salmon heads, kimchi. I'm mad at anything really tastes good. Oh, the defender almost picked off the ball on that one. Now, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. The return man catches, the oh, and he loses the ball along with his life. When did we become so numb to all this? I uh, honestly can't remember. And it's first and ten. This guy's a brick shit house. <laughs> Second down in a very long. Defense was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. Third down and long. And that's another turnover for the defense. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And there's still time to get a beer. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. Hot. Second down and more than the QB would like. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. The defense just... And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for this act, man. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot... free and has open field in front of him. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Vanish him. And it's first and ten. First and ten. He runs it for three. Second down and seven. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. 
And it's first and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Second down and ten. down and five. Score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. You can tell he's a first. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham a sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Now, yeah, still working on my salami here, Bricks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. <laughs> the offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. First and ten. Fumble. You've got to protect the ball better than that. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown. Chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. And the easiest play in the league, and he chokes. Yeah, he's a choker. He's a midnight smoker. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he made this clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. Second down in a lot. Hot, hot one. And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. Oh, uh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so do the fans. And it's first and ten. Huh? Huh? Defense holds him to a four-yard pickup there. Second down and six. Now the offense is getting kills. The 
This is really a violent game, guys. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, oh, going in circles. And the offense is running low on running backs. They have only two left. They need to conserve those runners now and consider passing more. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. And another interception. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. <laughs> <laughs> and it's first and ten. He's got his beast boost working. The player just transformed into a violent form of pure badass. It's a touchdown. Listen to his fans howl. They love him. He came up as a teenage werewolf in the Hayden Farm League. I don't know if he's dancing. I'm just finding his territory. <laughs> don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can say that, Grim. Oh, boy. And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's going to go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. Oh, the defender almost picked off the ball on that one. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. Oh, he just got crushed. The offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. And the offense quickly calls their second timeout. That's how you do it. Do what? And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. <laughs> oh, nice hit. That's the way you do it. Let him have it and then take it away. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Brits' ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rap. Ah, another interception. Jeez, you can... Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, I got a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard. Mm -hmm. 
Man, are these guys greedy or desperate? Either way, they're going for two. And the quarterback throws another pick. He's oh, that's a big time hit. You ever been hit like that before, Brick? At some point, they're going to need to put this ref out of his misery. Uh, how about now, for instance? Here's a hit. Dirty tricks attack the ref. I like this. They're going for two. The defense had enough with this ref and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> They're going for two points. Bam! Gutsy run for the conversion. <laughs> they need a good return here to set up the offense. He sits up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And it's first and ten. Boom! Second down and long. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. The teams line up for the kickoff to start the second half. These guys will have to play a lot harder to make it a game. Well, either that or kill and cheat more. <laughs> when you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. Oh, 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 oh. oh man, Bricks, you gotta love a player who goes down fighting. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. And it's first and ten. Tired of the quarterback tight spiral. And the whistle blows the play dead along with the quarterback. The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Wynn, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Uh, I think the funeral expenses, that is. First and eight to go. He took a beast boost injection. Now wants to stomp all over his opponents. And he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. Werewolf is from London, I believe, signed in the offseason. Yeah, I saw him at Trader Dick's hotel party the other night. 
His hair was perfect. Better watch out. He'll rip your lungs out, Bricks. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. kidding me my sister could have made that kick isn't your sister in a wheelchair i know right here comes the kicker oh, i can't wait to hear this what's the kicker grim uh, this guy in the field oh i thought you were gonna tell me a story like here's the kicker when i turned out the light it wasn't a bra in my bed it was a chip wearing a wig and it's first and ten Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. And then Cats will give them a first down. I don't know if they're... Hey, you kill a ref. It's not murder if they have it coming, right? Take the hit. Do something about that ref, you pussies. I won't even get out of They're back up here on first. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down in a mile. Defense gave up a lot of yards on that pass play. They'll need to regroup quickly. Second down and more than the QB would like. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite him. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. <laughs> and it's first and ten. for a yard second down and nine First and ten. And the defense just knocked the wind out of that quarterback. <laughs> Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know what. Touchdown! And he rumbles that one in the end zone. Nicely done. I can't run like that. Lost his scoop one night in Taco Hell. He had better footwork though than me. On account of not crunching and kicks Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. Oh 
The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! And it's first and ten. The defender blows up the receiver on the play and knocks the ball loose. Second down and ten. And the quarterback is down. Zoom in on his face. I want to see if the little bastard's crying. <laughs> Third down in. The punter is warming up. And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. The defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. Touchdown! And they line up for the extra point. It's good. The onside kick is a desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal a possession. Stealing ain't right, Glenn. It just ain't right. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. <laughs> And it's first and ten. The defender says, I don't think so. Second down and ten. And he was steering a pick six, but dropped the interception. And it's why he's on defense, schmuck. Third down and ten. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. He broke free and has open field in front of him. The 20. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Destruction in his path. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwich, with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwann Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. And that's another turnover for the defense. Oh, and the ball carrier just got skewered. <laughs> and that's the end of his day. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message.
charged with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles. <laughs> One quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Yeah, this new QB he don't even look too confident. He's pleading with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good. Uh, as expected, those are pretty much just... The National Vikings pulverize the opposition into a bloody mess, and they win this one by forfeit. Yeah, but they just chewed him up and then puked him out. And then ate him up and puked him out. There's not much left of the opposition, and the fans are loving it. There was only one way this game was going to end, and that was in a forfeit. That's not quite true, Grim. The alien spacecraft could have crashed into the stadium and ended the game. Oh, how about it? How about if you shut the hell up right now? We go down to the field and listen to what the MVP has to say. <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...